Um, so some of the things um, that you need to be mindful of, um, one of them is definitely tinsel. We like to decorate our trees and really spruce it up. However, uh, cats really enjoy tinsel. It's really easy for them to grab off the tree. Uh, they love to bat it around and if ingested, it could be very harmful for them. So the best um, management tool for that is actually to avoid tinsel altogether. Making sure maybe you're decorating your tree a little bit higher so you're kind of leaving space below. Another really big thing is wires. Uh, wires come out a lot during Christmas time. So just being very mindful of that and making sure you're putting them away um, so your animals can't uh, get to them either. For some trees, you don't know what type of fertilization it had, um, especially you know when it's, it's been a small tree and it's just you don't know what's in the water. A lot of times we have to add to the water, so it's best that we don't allow our, our pets to be drinking from that water. Instead, just having fresh water available from, from the tap is ideal. With human food, um, especially um, around uh, Christmas time you know turkey and, and all that fun stuff you know there's bones um, that the animal cannot digest properly and it can splinter which is quite harmful so um, just avoiding um, doing scraps altogether there's other healthy alternatives that you can do uh, for your animals um, some really good um, pet friendly recipes that you can look up which would be ideal with any type of food uh, that our pets can't have the best thing is managing keeping it away uh, we have a lot of animals that like to counter surf our cats love to jump on tables so really just um, putting them away in a safe spot uh, when you do have dinner or chocolates just putting them away uh, when you're unable to supervise your animals right with the pandemic uh, animals that you've maybe recently got over the last couple of years aren't used to all this commotion um, so the best thing that you can do is have a, a spot uh, that they can actually retreat to so this could be an area in your home that is going to be away um, from where you're gonna be hosting your parties or having people over. It should be supplied with like a comfy bed, some water, some food. Um, and if you're wondering what to do uh, before then and how to get um, your animals used to having people over is, is to plan ahead and kind of have people over prior uh, to um, th these, ga these gatherings. So you kind of see how they react and if they are a bit nervous, then just having that space that they can go to and relax. And um, a really big thing for me too is some dogs are uh, sensitive to noise. You know, we we, we do get loud we haven't seen people for a while so putting on some calm, uh, calming music to kind of drown out that uh, that noise um, from the gathering well, gift giving an animal um, so usually when you get an animal a lot of thought goes into it um, not only are you thinking about uh, things that you have to do to prepare your home um, but you're also you know researching breed uh, and things like that and whether you know the dog that you are going to be getting whether it's a puppy whether it's an ad adult dog how they're going to actually fit into your lifestyle if you're going to be uh, giving a gift to someone you're unaware of all that and that can actually set that dog or animal um, up for failure so you always want to make sure we're, we're not doing that um, you know always if you are considering that having an open conversation with the family member or a friend or whoever that you are thinking about giving uh, a pet to but um, um, for the most part, it should be um, it should be avoided.